What's up guys? Um, for today's video, we are going to be uh, doing pump timing advance on my truck and a little bit of ingenuity. Um, for To get the pump bolts loose, you have to have an S-curved or a curved 13 millimeter wrench and none of the parts stores around me had it so I decided to make something of my own I just took I just took the uh, my jack threaded the bolt through the open end and then took the other end and put it over the open end and took a torch and just heated up right there and just kept bending I kept wanting to bend the other way as you can kind of see but I think that it will work for what we need it to so so hopefully today we'll also be able to do the valve cover gaskets um, kind of frustrated with the auto zone near me I ordered specifically called this morning and ordered the Felpro gaskets to the store and they said okay it'll be there by one well I didn't even have to be there till six until I got off work I get there and the guy's like I stand there for 45 minutes guy doesn't ever doesn't help or anything and then comes up to me and says I think I messed up I ordered the gaskets to the wrong location so I'm I'm supposed to hear back from them within an hour to find out if I'm gonna be doing those tonight or not so hopefully we do those tonight and we will definitely be advancing the timing on the pump tonight okay so one thing I do suggest before we even get this started um, let the motor cool down because I'm an idiot I just drove this thing 40 minutes from work and I've burnt myself about six times just trying to get the wrench on the nut so just that's just a little note to you guys might be a good suggestion so the bolt you have to get to is back and kind of up there's only three bolts on the pump there's this one which is already kind of like loose I broke it loose a second ago and then there's one back in there you have to take like extensions and run it all the way back to there and get a like a longer ratchet on it and just break it loose but what we're gonna be doing is like right here somewhere Not really sure if you guys can see that or not. But there's a line on the side of the pump and there's a line on the timing case. You can kind of see the line on the timing case. But those are the two lines that come from the factory and you're going to bump the pump about an eighth of an inch above that line. After you break these loose and you'll I'll show you guys, you hook a ratchet strap to the top side of this bracket and put a piece of board over the valve covers and you hook to a hole right here, put the hook through the hole and then you just crank the ratchet strap right here and it pulls the pump so that way you don't have to fight with trying to hold the pump while tightening the bolts. Okay, so update. <laughs> I had to bend the wrench a little bit more because it wouldn't reach and when I bent it I kind of got cockeyed but I think it'll still work hopefully so we'll see okay so the line I was talking about earlier I took some degreaser and cleaned up you can see it a little better but just to uh, be on the safe side I'm gonna mark it with a sharpie on the pump if the sharpie would actually mark so okay so I kind of just made my own line it's really hard to tell
looks like they tried to make their own line there before or something. Okay, so what ended up happening was, uh, well, I got all of them loose. I made my, I had to bend this wrench a lot more and messed it a lot more than I wanted to. It took me about 40 minutes to do that. But uh, I got the all the bolts broke loose and I started to ratchet on it. See how I have this set up? I put a block of wood there and then tied it off there. Well, I started to ratchet on it and it was um, really tight, tense, and I didn't like the fact that I was pulling that hard on the pump because I wasn't sure. So I like triple checked to make sure everything was loose. And then I just started to tap on the side of the pump with a hammer and it started to move after that. And as you can tell, it's closed up a lot of space between the motor and the pump. So now I'm just pretty much gonna tighten up all the bolts and start it and see what happened. So after the big pain in the butt, I got everything done, everything's tight, um, and it's ready to start, so we're going to do that and see how things go. You get your boost tube back on, uh, you have to like bend it a little bit because as you can tell, because the, the pump is so close, you have to bend the tube a little bit and then you just got to make sure all your other bolts are tight. And we're going to start it up. Sounds like it runs different. A lot different. So we're just going to run to the auto parts store and get our valve cover gaskets and do a little test drive. Okay, so that's going to be it for today's video. Um, it's dark out now. Um, what actually happened is when I went out for the test drive, I just got sidetracked. Um, ended up running around a bunch of places, getting a bunch of stuff done. But the truck runs a lot better, runs really good. I'm definitely really happy with the way it's running. Um, you wouldn't think that a lot would change, but like the sound of the truck, the way it runs, the way it drives, 
the throttle response just 100% better so definitely suggest doing that if you've not done it to your truck that'll be it for today's video guys um, sorry I haven't really been uploading anything I've just been really busy but hopefully you guys will start seeing more videos soon peace out